What's up boss babes and welcome back to my channel. So I am bringing you my most requested video lately, which is how do I crimp my hair? Some people are like, were you born with curly hair? What's the deal? How do you get it to look like that? I'm like, girl, I use a little crimper that I got from Ross or something. <laughs> um, but anyways, if you are interested in seeing how I get my hair like this, then keep on watching. Okay, y'all, so before we get started, I do want to talk about some hair care. So I've recently been loving this little trial, BioSilk Silk Therapy Oil. This has really helped uh, the damage in my hair. And before I was using that, this was my holy grail, the Argan Oil of Morocco. Uh, the extra penetrating oil, but I really, really, really like this bio silk one, so I'm definitely going to get the full size bottle. So, before we start, I'm going to be using my Tresemme uh, heat protecting spray. It smells so good. And the crimper that I use is the Bedhead TG uh, crimper. And Dude, I've had this for years. I cannot tell you where to get it, but they sell crimpers all over the place. Walmart, Target, Amazon, you name it. So what I like to do is split my hair in the middle and I work from the bottom going up. And I'm just gonna clip my hair out of the way. And then, uh, since I want my hair to be really long or as long as possible, uh, the bottom layers, uh, I don't start crimping at the top. I kind of start crimping in the middle. And you just have to be really careful that you don't hold it on there too long. So while it's in the barrel, I like to kind of detangle the remaining hair like so. And then where it curves right there, that's where you crimp it down. There we go. Sometimes the hair pops out over here, so you just got to make sure to keep it in line. And there we go. So I've been wanting to do an IG live, uh, business related lives, just for like tips, tricks, and since it's live, you know, give um, my followers an opportunity to ask any business related questions and I can just answer them right there for everybody to learn, like make it a big learning experience for everybody. But like, I don't know what it could be about. I do have an idea. I've been um, doing a lot of research and watching um, some Disney documentaries. If you have Disney Plus, I definitely recommend for you to uh, watch the Imagineering Story documentary. I think it's like a six, seven part documentary about Disney and basically how Disney was started and kind of like the journey that it's taken throughout the years. It's very interesting. So I've just been learning a lot about Disney and how they work and their protocols and um, kind of implementing that into soapsters. I mean, of course I already was like the quality and um, you know, just putting your best foot forward with every order. But, you know, it's just really interesting how Disney does it. So I recommend that. So I kind of wanted to do a live on like uh, something around, around like that theme. I don't know if people would find that interesting, but. And low key, 
like as outgoing as I am, doing an IG live would be kind of intimidating, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're getting to the end here. So with this last large strand, I'm gonna split it in half. Now this one can go up a little higher than the others just cause this is the big shebang in the front. And I'll hold this just a tiny bit extra. Just you want it to be as perfect as possible. And same thing with the last front piece. Okay, we're starting on the other side. Same thing, not so close to the top, just so my hair can look as long as possible. I think this is a better view to show you guys. So once you unclamp, you roll it to the very last little clamped part of your hair and just like so. Just like that. So I don't know what's been going on lately, but a lot of small businesses on Instagram are getting copied or not getting credit for their work and stuff like that. When like other small businesses like are doing the similar thing. And um, it's a crazy, so you guys know Lush, right? Like Lush, the, the big soap company. They actually, um, a lot of their products that they created themselves I think like, um, you know, they're popular for the jelly soap and um, uh, a few other items. Um, their idea is actually patented. Like if you recreate that shit, like they can sue you. Being a small business owner, like, you know, we don't have the funds for like to patent our ideas or whatever. But I mean, if you feel like you're being copied um, or if you really did come up with an idea, then if you really care about your business, um, then you should start saving up your money and start getting your ideas like patented so that you can start taking legal action um, on copycats. If you've seen the Facebook movie, The Social Network, they talk about, you know, when they were fighting about like who invented Facebook and stuff like that. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg's character was like, does the person who invented the chair get credit by other people who start creating chairs? Like, I know it's just, <sighs> It's sad, but like, I mean, if you really did create an idea, then just get it in writing, like legit get lawyers. Patrick Ta, he's like a famous uh, celebrity makeup artist. He actually just came out with like some brow wax that's so similar to mine, but you know, just shit happens, man. Ooh, yes, Tiger King vibes. <sighs> okay, so what I love to do to finish it off, I like using some mousse. And this is from Theresa May. And I like to scrunch up my hair just a little. So the mousse kind of gives it more of a beachy vibe, I feel. And then to finish it off, I use the Way Texturizing Hairspray. And I love this. It really does add a little bit of extra oomph. And it smells good too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, uh, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, 
and Snapchat. It's really funny. I feel like on Instagram, I'm like really professional. On Snapchat, I'm like my ratchet self just sharing funny memes or things that I think are funny. Um, and then TikTok, I just make like little videos for my Instagram. But anyways, um, leave me a comment down below and tell me like what kind of an Instagram live do you want me to do business wise so that we can interact and it can be a learning experience and you guys can take home some value from it. Other than that, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.